You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Startup Blog Insights, the top 10. You know, I look forward to a great 2015 with you. I, I think I, we talked about it earlier. I think we're going to do something on uh, funding and finance uh, yeah. for the first part of the year, and I think that would be great. I've got to find um, the link for that one, but I have one uh, that talks in the book. There's a whole chapter devoted to it, and it actually breaks out the different ways that you know, people ah, make money and stuff yes. in the book. It's one of the chapters uh, uh, more than halfway through, but it has a whole subsection on uh, financing. And, um, and a lot of that came... The topics came from one of the links that I had where I talked about financing and where the money comes from. I was going to ask you, so how's the book doing? I have no idea. <laughs> the publisher's not told me if they sold any books or not. I know I bought 100 and a friend of mine bought 50 and gave them out, but I have no idea. <laughs> That's <laughs> honesty, my friend. Communicating clearly? <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know. That, I don't think that was the positive spin one. <laughs> that was not the positive spin one, but I have no idea. I've, I've been looking on Amazon where you can go to Author Central and try and monitor where I am. You know, and it goes up and down, and, and there have been points where I've been in the top couple of percent, but that doesn't necessarily mean it sells a lot of books. I just don't know what it translates. There's like hundreds, or there's like millions of authors or millions of books out there, so where you show up, you know, you could be in the top 5% and sell one book for all I know. <laughs> you find a category, a niche category, you could be there forever. Um, I don't know. You know, it, 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 it looks like people are buying, but I just, I really don't know. Uh, it, there are about 10 reviews now that people have popped in there and, and written, uh, you know, that are saying to be positive. Now, the people that I've talked to uh, that have read the book uh, specifically liked it and thought it was great. Um, you know, so so it's 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 not so easy for me to know because I'm you know I haven't heard from the publisher on on how the sales are. You know, maybe one day I'll sell enough to break even on this thing, but, but probably not. <laughs> Costs a lot of money. What's really funny is I actually hired a PR group, and so I've decided now that hiring a PR group is paying money to give a job to someone to go out and find more work for you to do for no money. I'm sitting here saying, okay, I'm missing the point of this all together. <laughs> hey, are you doing any book signings? Have they have they arranged any book signings? I, I, had, I had one book signing. Uh, they have not, uh, you know, and, and there seems to be less um, of that now. Some of those kind of things take place yeah. these days. They tend to, you know, often give you stuff to write for other Venues and and things like that, and I've given a few lectures. I've given three or four lectures. Oh, great! You know, uh, you know, some and and I kind of span. Depends on what they want. Sometimes I talk about startups, how to create startups, and things like that, and I talk about agile and some other ones. And so I've had three or four lectures uh, since November that I've done. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to get you at the uh, founder space. Uh, Actually, some of the sessions were, so. to, were advanced degree students at universities. Mm. So I had uh, you know PhD students that I was giving lectures to at uh, and, and one in a bioinformatics group, mm. you know I think bioinformatics and one one in uh, in the public health uh, department, and then I had one to a large entrepreneurial group and you know uh, that was an association, and uh, so I've got at least a few a few of those that have come up. It's interesting. You get into a group. And and uh, they think well I don't need this kind of stuff and it's not applied. Then you start talking about agile thinking and then you it's, so you talk about jobs because everything that I write about applies across the board to almost everything you do. So so I talked about jobs. So I've got it's, it, it, I'm, I'm in there talking about you guys are interested in jobs, right? So I, I talk about and breaking down everything that I put in the book or all the stuff that I write, everything I was discussing with them, and how it goes to find a job. So then I talk about networking, and uh, one of the guys in the back says, well, I want to get a job in Texas, and he's in Charlotte, North Carolina, and he says, how do I go out meeting people there? So I says, well, you said your family lives in Texas, right? And he says, yeah. He says, well, when you go home, set up meetings. <laughs> and he said, uh, and then, so then I said, okay, there's 30 P students in this thing, right? I said, how many of you have friends in here? How many of you have friends in Texas? Half the class raised their hand. I said, talk to them. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. Okay, wait a second. Everything that I'm telling you, you know, what's your product when you're trying to find a job? You are. Who are yeah. you? What do you need to do? You need to market. 
How yeah. do you work it? You know, and so, so <laughs> all the stuff applies to the same. Just finding the job, so it's all the same. Yeah, absolutely. I I, I think uh, you know, and that's why a lot of these 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 things we do every month is really important because I think yeah. your article is great, and I I, I just appreciate you. Uh, talking a little bit more in depth about each article every month. So anyway, well, well let's close out the interview, and thanks again. Uh, happy so, New Year. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Happy New Year, man. Uh, we'll see you again in January, uh, either in San Francisco or uh, online like this. So so how can listeners get a hold of you and get a hold of your book and get a hold of uh, your, 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 your excellent writings at Startup well, Blog? If, if they're really agile, <laughs> they would have read the bottom of the screen and see thinkagilebook.com is one place where you can get more information on the book. Oh, that's right. That site, there are ways that you can reach me if you look for any of the articles. Uh, uh, you know, like any of these top ten articles, if you go to any of those, you would find that it goes to the blog site, which also has contact information, and the examiner puts contact information. Every place that I put stuff out tells you how to follow me, reach me, do whatever. So, you know, if you want to stay closed mind and not know how to find me, then it's easy to do, too. <laughs> oh, man. you going to... Thank Agile. <laughs> You're going to be a rock star. I know it. So anyway, uh, thank you anyway again for 2014, and uh, I appreciate your your time and effort spending on this with me. So yep. have a good uh, one. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's Greg Gloria, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network, where we believe in tech, startups, design, and you. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and be careful out there. Happy New Year, Taffy. Happy holidays. Bye bye. <laughs> you know the. Number one, another number of uh, uh, title blog that was always popular on your channel, which is called Six Environmental Factors That May Affect Your Business. That, that's from 2012. Yep. It, it, you know, it's, it's interesting. Uh, the, the picture that was in there was uh, a silver sword, and silver sword only grows on top of Haleakala, to my understanding, which is a mount, which is an old extinct volcano in Maui. Uh, and, uh, okay. you know, and uh, it's the only place that in the world, I think, that it grows. Uh, you know, and, and the goats keep eating them. They keep trying to figure out how to keep them out of there. But it's a, uh, uh, you know, but I saw that and, and I realized, you know, okay, that really applies to businesses. You know, if you, there's a, there's a, uh, a Italian restaurant on Knob Hill that every time I go out there, I go eat. And it's been there since, since before 1999 because I've been to that place dozens of times over the years. And their location, where they are and what they have there is for example their environment where they where they're positioned has a large uh, number of people that frequent that place you can't even get a seat at night and they won't take reservations uh, so you know or you can make 30 40 minutes outside but the yeah, food is yeah, good yeah. so they, you know so they are in a great location um, they have a good offering uh, and they have a lot of, of word of mouth uh, that comes up. So just their location is extremely important. Um, you know, if you are if you are in a tech park and you want to create a tech company, your ability to hire people is greater than if you're located at South Beach and you're trying to build <laughs> you're trying to build a tech park. Everybody you want to hire has got to be moved. Which means that you have to pay moving expenses, and you got all this other kind of issue trying to get them down there. So where you are and those things that are around you can have a big impact on your business. If you require a lot of shipping, and you're located four-hour drive from the nearest place to be able to get stuff shipped, <laughs> is a problem. You know, if you're located closer to an airport or a train station or some other kind of thing where you can ship things, so so environment can play a very important part in your business. Yeah, absolutely. I, I I remember this one. I, we did this a few years ago, and yeah. um, you know, it it, it whole talks about really what you were talking about is kind of like, I remember the the analogy or the story you were talking about about if you want to relocate the business, it may be cheaper, but if you can't find any people to work there, it doesn't really matter anymore. It you know, so. what what do you do if you're in an area which um, all of a sudden, and this actually happened. Uh, let's suppose that you had a really great business. And your business is located in town, and the town decided to take over the property so they condemn it, uh, you know, and they want to build something, some big town hall building, and they decided to move you, and they move you to uh, a location where 
you know, they used to have a lot of walk-in traffic, but now all of a sudden they moved into a different location with a lot of walk-in traffic, but these people didn't care. And, and so they moved them, you know, just that act of moving them from one location to another killed a mom and pop shop that people frequented for 50 years. <laughs> it was famous. And all of a sudden it's gone. So, so you know, uh, those kind of things happen and, uh, you know, just changes in your environment, uh, you know, changes in government regulations, uh, changes in all kinds of stuff can have a magic, uh, can have a dramatic impact on your business. Yeah, well, absolutely. Well, but anyway, uh, it's before Christmas here, and thank you for the 2014, my friend. You get, yeah. you've, you've, you've imparted a lot of wisdom on a lot of people I see out of this top 10 blog. I think well over 100,000 easily. So, oh, yeah, uh, it's, a, it's It's been, I've written about 300 and some odd articles, and I've got some that are coming out now in different venues, uh, you know, that, that, are, that are coming out. So I've got, uh, you know, in quite a number of places, and and actually, up on uh, on the startup blog, I put out uh, I think several article links that went showed up in places other than the Examiner and Startup blog. Mm. So there's other articles that I've written, and uh, you know it's it's hard to know what kind of impact that these things have made on anyone, but I, I hope I hope it helps somebody someplace. <laughs> no.